Ladies, Ladies, gentlemen, gentlemen and enlightened, enlightened extraterrestrials, extraterrestrials. welcome, to, welcome the to the Daily Dump, dump. With, your host, with your host, the future, the future president, president, Jasmine, Jasmine Sherman. Sherman, here to grace, here to your, grace your eardrums with a delightfully irreverent, irreverent show, show that's all about freedom, liberation, liberation and, probably and probably a healthy a dose, dose of eye rolling. Eye rolling. Now, before now before we get started, we get started I must remind you that, that the Daily Dump is not is responsible for any loss of brain cells, snorts of laughter in public places, or the uncontrollable urge to dance like a maniac. This is a this show, is a with, show adult with adult themes, themes and, language. and language. So if you're, so if you're easily, easily offended, offended, turn back, turn now, back now and go, and go knit, something knit something nice, nice instead. instead. We, won't, we judge. won't judge. Ah, July. Ah, July. A, special a special month of liberation. Month of liberation. We, shall we shall honor and commemorate the great, the great historical event of the liberation of heterosexual gender conforming white men from the tyranny, from the tyranny of the British of the Empire. Empire. Truly, a, Truly remarkable a remarkable moment in history, in history considering, considering the trials and tribulations, and tribulations they face, like, like um, um, tea taxes, tea taxes and, powdered and powdered wigs. wigs. How they managed, how they managed I'll, never I'll never know. know. But fear, but not, fear my not, my dear listeners, listeners for, for the Daily, the daily Dump, dump isn't, isn't all about diving, diving into the deep, deep end of sarcasm. We've got a We've delightful, delightful mix of news, politics, politics culture, and whatever, and whatever else tickles my fancy. Plus, we'll Plus, sprinkle, sprinkle in some interviews with intriguing, with intriguing individuals, individuals who've managed, who've managed to, master to master the art of adulting, of adulting without, without losing, losing their minds completely. completely. So, whether, so you're whether you're listening on the East Coast, West Coast, or somewhere in between, mark your calendars because the Daily Dump will be hitting your airwaves Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Central, 8 p.m. Mountain, Mountain, and 7, and 7 p.m. Pacific, Pacific Time. time. You, can you can consider it your daily dose of hilarious, dose of hilarious liberation, liberation with a side of eye-opening commentary. commentary. Join, us, Join on us on this wild, wild and wacky, wacky journey where we'll dissect, where we'll dissect the, absurdities the absurdities of life and laugh in the face of seriousness. Of seriousness. Remember, Remember, if life if gives you lemons, squeeze them, squeeze them into the eyes of anyone who dares to take themselves too seriously. So grab your beverage of choice, buckle up, and get ready for the daily dump. The show that's, the show here, that's to here to liberate your mind. Your mind. One, snarky One snarky comment, comment at, a at a time. Let the sarcasm, Let the sarcasm flow. flow. Good evening, everybody. And I don't know how I managed to do it, but I forgot to tell you that I am Jasmine Sherman, and this is The Daily Dump. Now, part of the excitement for being here is that you are going to get an opportunity to hear all kinds of crazy shit and not crazy shit that's untrue this is all crazy shit that your government is allowing to happen to you and we are the crazy people that have decided to share it with you this evening again i am jasmine sherman 2024 presidential candidate and i am joined by happy tyler happy tyler that's me hi everybody <laughs> always happy and i am alex the diplomat Hi, I'm Travis. It's my first show, so hopefully you go gentle on me today. Not a chance. Hey. Not not a fucking chance, sir. Why would you? Add, <laughs> why would you add? <laughs> ain't nobody else. Ain't nobody else ever gotten it like a slow stroll, but you gonna be like, hey, I'm, and like here's what people what don't understand. Time? People don't know. Travis is a uh, non melanated. He rolled in and was like, be easy. <laughs> 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 Yo, you guys. So. Just, I hope everybody's had a crazy day. I mean, not a crazy day, a good day. I keep using the word crazy. Like, it's it's on the tip of my tongue consistently. And it's just that, like, so many things are happening. Um, I was able to do an interview yesterday on a different podcast, and I was able to do an interview today on a podcast. Like, I am exhausted from talking to people. And then I got my own podcast. So it has just been a very cool day. We did a lot of connecting with people. And I just want you guys to know, we talked about this yesterday and we've done more research and we're continuing to do research because we I have like we need a policy to actually protect children in the United States. And so I know that we have the policy that is going to stop child brides, but we need to remove children from cults. And so if you are listening and you have any experience with a cult, please, please, please email us at official account dot com, um, official account at fat socialist dot com. We really want to talk to you about your experience and any suggestions you might have on how we can protect children um if you are someone and they're like that's just too traumatic but you know someone else we want to talk to them as well the goal here is to stop this cycle of abuse uh but i i, I will talk to about some more happy stuff like have you guys considered canceling all of your streaming services and i know what you're saying bitch what are you talking about however 
We've told you over the last few days about different strikes that are going on in this country. Right now, um, we have an update. For the last eight weeks, the writers have been striking. And we found out that corporations uh, that own the streaming services and, you know, they make all the money producing these things have decided that they're going to try to sweat the uh, writers out. They're not going to negotiate with them because their rent checks will be due in October. This is when they're assuming that the mutual aid efforts will stop and the support will stop. And so they're just trying to wait them out until capitalism crushes them and forces them to come back uh, with their head between their, you know, their tail between their legs. And we can't allow that to happen. So we all need to stand in solidarity with them. The actors, because the writers have been suffering, have said, okay, we're going to go on strike as well. So now they have no actors, they have no writers. And we need to ensure that they have no consumers. So I'm calling on anybody who wants to participate in a direct action to cancel your subscription services. And and we don't need to be funny. You know damn well you got ways to watch the shit you want to watch without paying for it. So go back to those days. Get back to your youth. Now, I'm old, but when I was younger, we used to have some shit called like torrenting. And like I'm not telling people say. I'm not telling people Pirate to pull Bay. out the Napster or Pirate Bay. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we all know that there is a way. And not to be funny, I, I got to read more. This is an excellent time for me to bone up on my book talk. This is an excellent time for me to lurk about how to do more co comedy. Not comedy. I'm not a comedian. God damn it. This is, this is more time for me to do more communicating with the people around me. So I hate to be an old person. Be like, turn off the TV. But. Participate in the boycott. This is this is armchair activism at its finest. You ain't got to do shit but say I'm not going to pay no more. What do y'all think about the op the option? Like, is that too, like, is it too much? What do you think, Takata? No, no. I think it's a great idea. It'll get people in, in the vein of, you don't, but, oh, gosh, all the words have just come on my tongue at the same time. But it'll get, people in the vein of looking at consumerism how much you know they spend and how much they contribute and being able to side with people for once and um not so much to save money but to just to just stand together i i, I don't know it's like i think it's good like you were saying reading books but like when we're talking about consumers and any opportunity to pull back and not feed into corporate America with your money, I'm all for it. So most of my streaming services are canceled anyway. But I <laughs> I I don't I can cancel the one of them is is expiring today. I can decide not to renew it. All right. Uh, it's not our fault that 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 there be little snippets of, of, of the things we like to watch on 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 different on different platforms. That's none of our business. It's showing. <laughs> and for people that are listening, that for people that are listening and are like, "Hey, y'all might know where I go to see what I got to see, but I don't." Email us. We will help you get connected with w the different op options you have to to be in inspired. The only one I really, really liked anyway is Handmaid's Tale. And that's not even coming back until 2024. So I'm excited about Oppenheimer and Barbie, and they're coming out tomorrow. Oh. Um, I don't know who I, that is. I, I've heard that Oppenheimer's cast um, left during a screening in solidarity, um, cool. like a premiere. So it's pretty serious. And yeah, I, pro I probably won't be seeing those. Least, the only Oppenheimer I know helped with the with the bomb. Yeah, yeah it's okay. a movie about Oppenheimer. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah. It's about. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's there's one there is one thing that that's that like th this has been my focus. That when I saw that that they were they were like oh you're gonna you're gonna you're 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 gonna protest you're gonna boycott or whatever then fine then we we we're gonna boycott you back we're not we we can wait it's like we know we know you can wait you have the luxury of waiting we don't they don't uh so we're we're gonna show you just how stubborn 
we can all be. Yep. You have no idea who we are. And so I, sit down and wait patiently. And that means oh, cancel them all. That means cancel them all. That means bye bye <laughs> Max, bye bye Showtime, mm -hmm. bye bye Peacock, bye bye. Well, you can watch Means TV. Means TV is not part of it. I, they're not part of it. Bye bye. Ooh, Raccoon Vicky. So you can watch your Korean K pop stuff. They're not part of it. You ain't got to boycott them. But bye bye mm -hmm. Paramount. Bye -bye. There's international TV too. TV is yeah. free. Watch other uh, other Pluto other Pluto shows. TV is free, right? <laughs> Pluto TV is free. I don't know about that one. Yep, cancel cancel them all. Don't give them any of your money. They don't deserve it. Also, what I wanted to say too, it is it's a um, it's a good idea for for this to people to see how their collective power works. That that's mm. that was my main goal. Like people can see, like our collective power works. So let's take this and and burgeon this into something a little bit more, you know, expansive. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it'll get people's wheels moving. And like, well, yes. it worked. This is our collective power did this. A, maybe we can get it to do B, C, D once they see an example of it working. Indeed, it, it it also gives it also gives fuel to the people who are trying to uh, not argue, but try to get to understand. Like in my situation, I I've talked about the campaign to man to almost everybody in, in, in my circle, and sometimes it'll come down to to what's the point of voting? Watch, this is this is the kind of things that 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 we we can we can do if the. If, we don't. There's no need to 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 uh for things to get a, a, out of hand. Just boycott it. Just don't participate. Don't be part of the system. Don't participate. You don't have to change it. You just it, just don't participate. Right. People are always like, well, you know, nobody's doing this or nobody's doing that. Here's something you can actively do. That people are saying this is what you can do. Mm -hmm. Don't play Netflix. Leave Hulu alone, you know. Cancel. I'm, and if you bored, like I'm pretty sure you got a Super Nintendo or something hidden in the, mm -hmm. in the closet somewhere. Just to plug that, to plug that bad boy up. Get back exactly. to the old days. <laughs> also, um, there's physical media is also a thing that we should also be considering because, like, the thing about streaming service and even like digital uh, games and stuff is that we're at the whim of companies. To make sure that they keep that product available, oh, so you, actually owning it might be a better yeah. investment. You know, you know what's another thing that that comes to mind. You know, if folks writing fan fiction and whatnot and having their own stories on websites is pretty. It is a whole lot more common nowadays. Look, talk to your lo local writers. Talk to your local artists if you're bored. Put on Read your on own plays, look. Yeah. Put on your own plays, y'all. Every I've been on. You ever been on TikTok? Everybody wants to be famous. Watch the shit mm -hmm. on TikTok. It's like TV but better. I've been watching this this person named Bella. It's a soap opera with dolls, plastic dolls. If y'all look at my video, there is a video about Travis trying to get education for cheap, and he's having a, he's a Barbie doll having to sleep with his teacher and <laughs> cheat on his girlfriend. That is a real uh the series on TikTok. This little man is just and he's not a little man. Hey, hey. Sorry. There's another one too. There's another one too. Oh, now I'm struggling to remember the name, but is there's this guy and it's like um it's it's the mom and his uh one of his one of the baby's mama's name is Versace and <laughs> and um I don't know. It's how oh, I cannot remember any of the names right now, but it's like the mom and then the grandmother. And then it's like she runs, the mom runs everything and she's got three boys and like one of them is gay. Oh, I know what like, you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I Yes. Okay. So one be sneaking out. Yes. I don't know the name of it though. It's a little too ratchet. I can't for me. remember his name, but that show is that. She, she be that, fucking like, them kids up. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, then you got Terry. What's that? Terry Joe, who's out here ruining lives. 
I mean, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff you could watch and support the workers. And I mm. and I would like to ask people to please consider supporting the workers when UPS strikes. I know I brought that up yesterday, but that means don't ship nothing, don't order anything. Hey, hey, hey! One last thing, y'all should probably check out check out Jasmine on, on TikTok, calling people out all all, all the time <laughs> with their <laughs> with their when, UPS comments. <laughs> what is the strike? In the UPS strike taking effect. So just in case someone wants to think about buying some merch from your wonderful store, Jasmine. Oh, uh, yeah. So the the it looks like as of right now, July thirty first. If they haven't reached an so agreement, so there's still time to order merch for Jasmine Shrimp. Yes, there is time. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay, maybe Travis should come around more often. He's got us on track. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I think that this is the way that we get people involved. We always, I always encounter people go, "Well, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to participate." This is it, mother flippers. This is exactly how you participate. You do it with your wallet, and this is a great chance you could spend that money on like Starbucks. I'm just kidding. Do not shop at Starbucks. They are also terrible. Do not shop at Starbucks. <laughs> just shop local. Yeah. Or fuck it. Don't shop. Stop consumerism. If you ain't got to buy it, don't. And I know most people are like, bitch, that's how I live. Even if I wanted it, I can't. I understand. I understand. But for people who are going to the Beyonce concert, I know you're going to need new outfits. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Don't come for me, Beehive. Beehive, however it's pronounced, what I'm saying is be mindful. Be mindful. Okay, I just hope there's there isn't a falling out between us because I am still gonna buy coffee from Starbucks. <laughs> like you can buy coffee, no. but it doesn't have to be from Starbucks. Uh, no, I I drink that local. Mm. All right, you guys. I guess it's time to get into it. What kind of coffee are you drinking at the local? Like when you say you drink it at the local, you mean like the hut? Like, cause I don't mind you buying little wait, blue wait. cups of coffee. Am from I allowed the man to, the to bring their name up? I mean, if it's a local business, why not? Shout out to local businesses yeah, that do right. Shout yeah. out to, to to Happy Monday. They're in, they're in, they're in downtown Chicago. They uh they don't just sell coffee. You can ask them to make your coffee infused. They what? do have license for herbal medicines. Oh snap! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! So hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Back up. Is that why mm -hmm. you so, is that why every day you so wise? Is is No, is, that's why every Friday I forget every 15 seconds. <laughs> ah. Oh gosh. <laughs> because I can't be happy on Mondays. I gotta do it on Friday. So what's re <laughs> what's really funny is I have a hemp license in the state that I live in. So we looked in when we started doing the stuff for the, the the campaign bus, if we could provide infused things. And the problem was they were like, you cannot, because if you drive from one state with into a state where it's illegal, you could go to prison. And I was like, well, good thing. So yeah, our lawyers, our lawyers, they, they're doing a good job of ruining they all of our fun. But, but look, I've, I've talked to them about, about the campaign. They are, they were excited about the, uh, what was it that, that we call a triple bottom line uh, accounting? Yep, triple bottom line accounting. They were, yeah, they were, uh, they were, they were excited for that. They were excited for we. I mean, I talked to them about nearly every policy we we had. They were, hell, they were excited about the the, the abolishing the police because that means more customers. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to give free coffee to cops. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. And that's another Precisely thing. Precisely that. They were getting tired of, of that because then cops start asking questions and do you have this? Do you have that? No, you may not have THC on, on, on the job. No, you may not have this delta with that. So get your hands off the kava. That's not for you. You're on the clock. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not them trying to get happy on the clock. You know dang well they get happy on the clock. Now, you of know course. what? Oh, you of guys, we, I decided. Well, I say it. That's true. That's true. That's true. But that means we do need to go ahead and get to like one of the actual stories that we have to talk yeah, about. Minutes <laughs> no, I mean, like, because the <laughs> other thing, <laughs> the other things were way important too. Like, people needed to know, right? Um, but this, this is a happy announcement. Like, I really want people to understand, like, this is good news, what I'm about to say. Oh, it's coming to town. The FDA, ha now please note, they're not our friends, but 
the FDA has just approved an over-the-counter um, birth control option. The issue is, what's it going to cost? What do you think, Takata? Mm-hmm. That was my question. What's it going to cost? I have two teenage daughters, and since I quit my job, we are currently having a discussion about, well, what about coverage? What about birth control? And I've been, you know, providing them feasible alternatives. So this is good news for me, but yes, cost is going to be a concern. So is this going to be one of the things where it's, we're going to be fucked anyway, because it's only available to like those who have the money for it, or are they going to actually make it affordable? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, because I mean, the whole because it, it feels like the whole vein, the energy right now is you know we need more white babies. We can't have poor people able to like control oh, birth, wow. right? So I'm like, how is how, where does this approval fit in? Well, yeah, the, the big big worry there about about gatekeeping using using price. Um, I mean. Shit, if it, it, it if 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 it does if it does get way too, way too high, then 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 be loud, get disrespectfully loud. Oh, I... Like hell, if you got a boy boycott <laughs> them too or or some uh, uh, yeah. of the like, then you, I don't know. You just made me think of something. Remember that song? It was an old song. The prices are way too high. You need to cut it. You need to cut it. You need to cut, cut it. it. But hear me out, y'all. Hear me out. What if? <laughs> What if you could just vote for a mother flipper who was going to give you universal health care? That would be great. And then the cost won't fucking matter. But no. But no, but for real. Look, we just I'm looking for solutions, solutions while we get there. You know what I feel I'm saying? That. I feel that. Right? <laughs> My so, naive self is hoping that would be the price of Allegra. <laughs> because that's like, because once you need a prescription, now you don't. So hopefully it'll be something like, you know, $20, $30. And yeah, for, that was kind of expensive, though. But for people, for, who, for people well, yeah. who are like, I don't want to pay for that for people. Let me explain something to you. The 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 federal government spent forty one million dollars and some change, like point six, on fucking Viagra. They also that's spent, your money. And to put it in perspective, they also spent two point three mil on crab legs, Alaskan crab legs. But I digress. They spent forty one point six on Viagra, keeping people who don't need to be fucking fucking. Just gonna point that out because it's not the young servicemen that have a e, uh, ed. I mean, occasionally maybe one or two, but you get what I'm trying to say. You know that's not who it is. Mm-hmm. You know that's not who. Can it I is. just can I just say something too though? When I read this article, on the one hand, I was happy. I had questions about the price, but I also was like. Okay, so if it is really affordable, what you got up your sleeve? Like that whole vein of distrust. Like, who are is this an experiment? Like, what's like? Is it tested? Like, I had those questions too, but I guess those those questions can be resolved with research. But they did come out because I'm a conspiracy theorist. So, Do, so then. So, so, is the, the is the uh is that pill made of made of something different than 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 the usual uh it, no, i don't know it, i don't know if it, it, i didn't see it i didn't i didn't see any kind of um differentiation yeah. in the like formula you're asking like i mean don't get me wrong i don't know the formula but like the shit's not made of anything different right so it says on the front norgestrel tablets Okay, but why O-Pill? Oh, <laughs> you don't want a baby. Oh, you had an orgasm. Take that birth control. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, you pregnant? Oh, not no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's plan B. That's plan B. That's oh, wait. Oh, no. That's plan B. Plan B yeah. is when you think something's in there. Uh, plan O. This, this plan <laughs> O. Plan O is so you don't have anything get in there. Um, it, o is for zero. <laughs> Oh, it's for is for oh, oh so it's like that. Clever. <laughs> oh, it's for zero. But 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I it's it's a it's a better name than than that. What was the other the my my Fephris, the whatever it's minestrone. That's what it is. My fist and minestrone. Professor Mephesterone? Yes, that thing. It's a better name than that. We're calling it the O pill. It's I'm okay with this. <laughs> is it O or zero? It's O, like Oscar, right? Not zero, like yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was and if it was zero, I was just gonna call it O pill. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that the that legislation or whatever is gonna call it opal, like the stone, <laughs> and then we're just gonna be correcting them. No. So the new problem that we will have, though, the issue we will have is just like with plan B, pharmacists not selling it. Now it's over the counter, mm -hmm. but if they don't stock it, then what, right? So mm -hmm. that that's going to be the next thing, people imposing their bullshit onto you. Um, but you guys, we gotta go to commercial. So we'll All be right. right back, you guys. All right. Bye. Hey there, hey there, folks. folks. Are you tired, Are you tired of the same, of the same old political, political circus? circus? Well, buckle, well, buckle up, up because we have a, we have a treat for you. For you. Introducing, Introducing Jasmine, Jasmine Sherman for President 2024 campaign. campaign. Now, I now, know, I what, know you're what you're thinking. A non-binary non president? president? What's next? What's next? Talking, Talking animals? animals? But hey, but hey, let's, let's break, break those barriers, those barriers shall, we? shall we? And guess, and guess what? what? We've got We've merch. merch. That's right. That's right. Show your Show support, support or lack thereof with our fabulous t-shirts and sweatshirts. Because nothing, because nothing says, says democracy like wearing, wearing your political stance, stance on your chest. On your chest. And hey, we've, and got hey, we've got something special, special for all you detractors, too. too. Because, we, because believe we believe in unity. So go ahead, so go ahead and proudly display your disagreement with Jasmine Sherman for president. But wait, there's more. Our merch also highlights the liberation of heterosexual white landowners from their colonizing ancestors in Britain. Finally, Finally, they can, they shed, can shed those, those burdensome ancestral ties, ties and feel the sweet, sweet, sweet freedom of, of well, well, not much, not really, much really, but it's but symbolic. It's symbolic. And, who and who doesn't love symbolism? Love symbolism? So, folks, so folks, join us join on this wild, on this wild ride, ride where traditional where politics, politics meet colorful, colorful diversity, diversity and where you can rock your fashionably sarcastic support for Jasmine Sherman. Sherman. Because, hey, if we're going to have politicians, let's at least have some fun with it, right? And remember, voting is not just a civic duty, it's a fashion statement. And we are back. So I want to say thank you guys for your patience. And we have some more exciting news for you. Um, I, I, okay, it's not exciting. It's an environmental problem, right? I, I know we talk about environment all the time, but I don't think people are taking it seriously. And at the same time, I look forward to seeing how they explain it because one of the things that we're not talking about is Republicans are not saying that climate change is real, but they continue to ask for climate change money. Does anyone have any thoughts about that part before we go on to this interesting article that will impact a specific state in this country that denies climate change? Mm. How many times do, the, do they go out of their way to cancel, uh, cancel or, or cut in half vital programs to 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 then to then uh, get an excuse to build something else or fund whatever other weird campaign that they that they got going on. So, I have a conspiracy theory. You always got a conspiracy theory. <laughs> me and me and me and Tyler, me and Nisha. <laughs> so, I feel like okay. So, the climate is getting worse. Things are getting worse here. And at the same time, now we've got. I'm going back to this space, this space thing, <laughs> and how like the rich people are yeah, like, yeah, doing, like yeah. commercial flights. Like I feel like they're about to bounce and just let the whole thing burn. You so watch, I'm wondering, you watch, don't worry. Like, you watch, should don't we have a backup plan and just like have our plan ready once they leave? Like I don't know. Like what do y'all? What do y'all? I don't know. That's how I feel when we talk about climate change and everything. I don't know. I'll be putting connecting dots that may not even be there, but I, I maybe know. just maybe they're not even anywhere near. Maybe they just have a whole TV show about us. <laughs> Cause we some we are the drama. <laughs> am I the drama? <laughs> no. Oh, am I <laughs> Yeah, crazy. Um so I just want to point out, though, there is a giant dust ball heading, heading to America from the Sahara. 
Like the mm-hmm. world is so small and the wind is blowing. We done tilted it. And uh, yeah, y'all are about to have real problems in Texas because the Saharan the Saharan dust storm is headed your way. Scott, you made a face. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm thinking, well, so isn't it supposed to like stop by Florida first and say what's up? This dust mm-hmm. ball? Yes. Yeah, I mean it goes sort of. it goes it goes across the Atlantic basin. It uh-huh. does. It is supposed to travel across the Atlantic basin. Um and it will yeah. make its way to the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. The the uh-huh. problem is the high winds. Funny how I don't know, I find it like also like Texas and Florida have been really showing their ass. Right, and I just find it interesting that Texas and Florida are getting hit with a lot. Not that other states aren't, you know, the Northeast is going through it with the flooding and and whatnot, and the the smoke coming from the north. Um, but I, I like they just want to continue to deny climate change, and at the end of the day, when the dust hits and the air quality is poor. Should we take a bet on if they like evacuate people or if they, you know, shut work down? But they're not going to do that. They have not been doing that. They didn't even want to let you motherfuckers stay home for COVID. So it's a sure bet then. Who who want to bet against me so I can make? (laughs) (laughs) You should uh, you should gamble when you feel lucky, not when you're being stupid. That uh, that Saharan dust doesn't normally reach that far. I mean, as far as as what I've le- learned, being being in, in Puerto Rico, that every single summer we always see uh the the skies turn red at at, at some point, and it'll the and and it'll it's a weird phenomenon because the clouds are calm, nothing's not nothing's out of, out of the ordinary, but the sky's blood red, and so are the clouds hanging above you. At that moment, you really got to question yourself, what the hell are you doing outside staring at clouds? Get indoors. Because uh, this this kind of, uh, of sand we've had to... Uh, I, I'm, I don't remember correctly, but this became a, 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 not an epidemic. Yeah, it was it an epidemic. Yeah, the entire island, I think it was in 2000, 2013, maybe? You're not- the entire island was was infected with with conjunctivitis yeah because the like the dust so let me let, let's be clear right these dust particles will make you sick you should stay home this week but guess what you can't afford to you can't afford to <clears throat> and let me mind remind you in texas the weather is at three digit numbers <clears throat> so now you can't breathe and it's hot but we doing I, okay. I would say, I would say, i'm sorry go ahead no i was just saying it but we doing okay huh we are not okay. We are really not okay. Alex, so if the dust is coming a lot further than it usually does, as what I hear you saying, mm. does that mean it's going to be worse for Puerto Rico or it's going to be about the same? It, I don't think it would. It, 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 it's, it's a matter of, of being worse. It'll probably stick around longer because there's more particles in the air. And now it's gonna be just like just like what happened with with any other any other strange foreign disease that we with, that that the U, the U S mainland encounters. Nobody's gonna be ready for it because everybody just stays outside to watch the tornado whirl for another two hours. Uh, instead of going outside, I mean, inside, the hardest part is gonna actually actually be. Getting the science community to actually reach out to the to to the rest of town, rest of the city, and get them to listen and whoa, actually whoa. respond correctly. I, I call BS because it's not the science community. They told us this shit was coming. They told us the planet was hot. It's not them. It's your politicians. It's your ignorant grandparents that are like, but Jesus, right? This this is them. This is not the scientists. The scientists, have, they, they make the reports. They put the reports out. And then the politicians say, put that report up. Take that report down. We're going to lose right. your funding. Like, the scientists are, like, I'm not crazy. A dude, um, he, he, he performed, he, 
he lit himself on fire. Do you remember that around this time of year? Mm -hmm. yeah. Scientists mm -hmm. who was protesting and he did it with his life. That was the warning. Environmental, like environmentalism is um, not profitable apparently. And that's <laughs> a problem for capitalism. Yeah. We, we need to be able to advert the climate change. We would need uh, massive engineering projects, correct? And that would cost a lot of capital and a lot of money. Lana. And what's like, so crazy is when, um, when Bruce, the guy from Boulder, Colorado, he was a Buddhist. He did this April 26, 2022. I'm sorry, April 24th. It was in April. He did that. Self-emolumation. Emolumation. Yeah. He set himself on fire. I don't know why I got to say it's so complicated. He, he did that to protest. That was a scientist saying this shit was coming. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Now we, so, like, and he did that. And like, here's the fucking rub. He did that on the Supreme Court steps and media didn't really pick it up. They didn't really cover it. They knew that. They knew, they, they, knew they fucked up. They, they didn't want to show that. I would, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just, I was just gonna just gonna finish up and and say y'all better y'all better really really take this the, this whole uh Saharan sand seriously because like if you catch that 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 uh that Sandy Pink guy, you got two things happening, all right? Now everybody's gonna look at you funny because they know where your eyes been, but but no, they don't. Uh, and if you ignore it and and this escalates. You will go from bacterial or viral to an actual chemical conjunctivitis, and that will cause you to lose your vision. Uh, for our listeners, oh. uh, uh, our diplomat is not a medical professional. Please seek all no. medical advice in situations arise. But motherfuckers, if it's dirty outside, don't go outside. This is a uh, you got to kind of like go with your gut here. Kinda don't go take medical you. advice from a podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just speaking from 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 experience from. from uh, my experience yeah. that is my experience in puerto rico okay that actually happened to to to, to me so um, so for people mm -hmm. who want to verify and get other ideas before you consult your medical professionals look up the conjunctivitis incident in puerto rico they have this this person is speaking from experience and you can verify it and then double check with your medical professional indeed boom, boom. Uh, but, but, but yeah this stuff is uh uh, it's it's a, it's not as bad as uh, uh, as as the smoke in, in in New York, but it is it is almost equally as harmful. Just just mind your business and stay indoors if you can. Yeah, I actually texted a friend who's in Houston <laughs> when I saw this one. It's kind of worrying. So, uh -huh. you guys, we need to talk about legislation that's being passed to stop the. All right, not to stop the campaign. Legislation that's being passed to derail certain ideas. Um, senators want to make sure that no president can pull out of NATO. And I'm being transparent as a person running for president with the goal of withdrawing from NATO. It is my understanding that some other people also want to withdraw from NATO. Um, so I am really curious about your opinions on on them trying to go ahead and pass legislation. And if you notice, it's semi-bipartisan. So what do you think, mm -hmm. Takata? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Um, I guess this is in response to... Um, Us. Like, Trump? Well, not... Um, well, according to the article, um, Trump wanted to leave NATO as well. So... Um, this is in response to that. I think it's bullshit. Because how are you going to like limit? Ugh. War is good for business. It's no, an, right, right. It's an imperialist move. It, it has it has really nothing to do with the people. But like, then the president can still have the ability to declare war or not necessarily, but have like military actions go on indefinitely without declaring war through Congress. So, I don't know. I just I think it's a weird move because the president's already found a way to skirt through, um, you know, using Congress one way. So I just it seems weird. It's 
I, I, I don't I don't get it. But yeah. Yeah. Well, I I get why they're doing it because mm-hmm. people are concerned. Like people are concerned about losing the, the rich people. When I say people, mm-hmm. are concerned about losing their bag because like how how can you, how do you enforce capitalism if you don't have the violent power to back it up? So, um, like they're just saying no, you can't leave the club. Basically, what they're saying, you can't withdraw from the gang. Like you're you 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 join it like you join the gang and like if you the only way in, out is a body no bag. Up. I guess I don't I don't. What was that song? If you locked in, ain't no switching up. <laughs> right, right. That's how I feel. I'm like, what the. F- like, how are you just going to say what the president can do? What if the people in the future don't want to be in NATO? Like, we don't want to be in NATO. How are you y'all deciding this? Like, they decide so many things that wind up affecting us down the road. And, it, like, it takes the effects of these things, though. They don't care about the effects. Like, we sometimes spend decades. And it's just crazy because... Like it takes decades for us to to undo the damage, but just these these past couple of years, they have managed to do so much damage and undo decades of work. I just it's frustrating to me. I got I, I, there's there's something that there's something that that, that uh, stood out to me. We right now we're thinking, okay, how do we get out, out of NATO? later than if they if they lock us in wait then how are we get uh, are we holding holding uh supreme court accountable if they if they currently they can stay for a, a, as long as they like so now we're seeing le- possible uh possible uh talks about about hey maybe there should be some accountability for 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 this for this group of people i mean what stops what stops senate and house from from uh voting on on hey maybe we should leave nato cuz i don't nato or not we we have historically still shown up at at, at at people's doorsteps when we hear a fight happening and start asking hey what's going on yeah. we should do especially uh, if, if it's, it's a money opportunity we oh, are yeah. to sell Right. That's the thing. Real quick, though, while we're talking about money and politics, uh, I didn't we didn't talk about it a couple days ago. We didn't talk about the fight in Michigan during the GOP committee meeting. I don't know how we missed that one. We didn't talk about it. I think it was like fisticuffs in there fucking each other up. But we also haven't talked about the fact that the GOP in certain states like Arizona and Minnesota are broke. We the Unicorn Party has literally more money in our bank account. Than the Minnesota GOP. I'm just saying, won't we do it? Won't we do it? No. We have more money. Our political party has more money in our coffers than the Minnesota GOP. And the Arizona GOP is getting evicted. They have no money either. So what? Melodies from heaven. <laughs> hey, like, seriously, it must be like, tough paying rent. <laughs> I'm they, sorry. They like, gotta quit drinking coffee. If you're, party, if you're first of all, it's a national party. Why are y'all not working together? Why are Why yeah. are some of your people being broke? Like, but that's anyway. Clearly, those two states GOP need to pull them up from the bootstraps. bootstraps. That's what I just said. Don't Stop steal my jokes. <laughs> yeah. no but i'm saying oh, like yeah. okay so political part like major political part is like one of the two but the democrats like, do that so like this this is the scam though this is the scam so people don't understand a political party is really a vehicle to help you get elected so dnc isn't giving money to their local politicians either they're not giving money to their money is for people in dc only they're not giving like that's been a big issue with uh democratic candidates um before she was for their party yeah before she was the it girl aoc didn't get any money Mm. right this is this is an issue this is don't people donate to those parties though to the major one not the local one 
When Joe so Biden what? texts you, that money doesn't go to the person, doesn't go to Cory Bush or Cory Booker. So, okay. so donating to like the, we'll call it federal, just so I can. If you want to so donate, donate to you should always just donate to your candidate directly. Never donate to the party. The only time I could say, so even here with the unicorn party, as we get more candidates, when people donate to the unicorn party, that doesn't go automatically to my campaign. That's illegal. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, so, so it just pays like the employees that work for nope. the party. Nope, doesn't even do that. Those are usually volunteers sometimes. So what are we doing with the party? I just told you, crab legs is two point three million dollars. Lights, furniture. Right? Well, that's the Didn't military. Buy... That's the military. <laughs> um, like the the point I'm trying to make is like. People do not understand scary things, and they're not. They're not. Uh -huh. These people, I want to point out, the Republicans are supposed to be fiscally conservative. How the fuck are you broke? You're supposed yeah. to be the one to save money. So they ain't got nobody to, to ask to borrow anymore. <laughs> now, to be fair, Minnesota has been a blue state for quite a while. A Republican hasn't won there in a minute. But still. This shit's crazy. Hey, y'all, I'm not even paying attention. We got to go to commercial. I'm going to get beat oh. up. Be right back, y'all. Hey there, hey there, folks. folks. Are you tired, Are you tired of the same, of the same old political, political circus? circus? Well, buckle, well, buckle up, up because we have, we have a treat for you. For you. Introducing, Introducing Jasmine, Jasmine Sherman for President 2024 campaign. campaign. Now, I now know, I know what, you're what you're thinking. thinking. A non-binary non -binary president. president. What's, What's next? Talking, talking animals? animals? But hey, but hey, let's, let's break, break those barriers, those barriers shall, we? shall we? And guess, and guess what? what? We've got we've merch. Got merch. That's, right. That's right. Show your support, Show your support or lack thereof, thereof with our fabulous t-shirts and sweatshirts. And sweatshirts. Because, because nothing says democracy, says democracy like, like wearing your political, your political stance on your chest. On your chest. And hey, we've, and got, hey, we've got something special, special for, all for all you detractors, too. too. Because, we, because believe we believe in unity. So go ahead, so go ahead and proudly display your disagreement with Jasmine Sherman for president. But wait, there's more. Our merch also highlights the liberation of heterosexual white landowners from their colonizing ancestors in Britain. Britain. Finally, Finally, they can, they can shed, shed those burdensome, burdensome ancestral ties, ties and, feel and feel the sweet, sweet, sweet freedom, freedom of, of well, well, not much, not really, much really, but it's but symbolic. It's symbolic. And, who and who doesn't love, love symbolism? symbolism? So, folks, join us join on, this on this wild ride, ride where, traditional where traditional politics meet colorful diversity, and where you, and where you can rock your fashionably sarcastic support for Jasmine Sherman. Sherman. Because, hey, if we're going to have politicians, let's at least have some fun with it, right? And remember, voting is not just a civic duty, it's a fashion statement. And we are back. We are back. And I have a last story that doesn't require a trigger warning, but it's a lot. Um, and, and I want to be clear. When I say it's a lot, people's mental health are in jeopardy. People's finances are, are extremely suffering, right? And so it is hard to be kind to these people because sometimes they do not deserve it. But Floridians are suffering. They can't get insurance. And the insurance that they have is going up astronomically. Now, I told you the other day, your boy Ron, he ended permanent alimony. So all them bitches is talking about they going to become Democrats. But on top of that, insurance companies are leaving Florida. Whose biggest donors uh, were DeSantis's? Insurance companies. People's payments have jumped up over 1000 3000 And it's a requirement. They have redistricted the state so people who weren't in flood zones are now in flood zones. It's 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 fucking crazy. What do you think, Takata? Well, my my dad lives in Florida, and a few years back, he was uh, trying to explain to me how his his um his um home insurance company called him and told him he needed to replace his roof or he would no longer be insured. And so he had to take out a loan because he didn't have the money. And I think it was like ten, twenty thousand dollars for him to replace um his roof. And so like he he had to replace it in order to keep his insurance. And so I'm th I'm looking at how okay, so they're leaving. 
And so they won't have insurance. They know this weather is getting worse. They see what's happening in Florida. I was watching a video the other day where the, the beach, they were, I, I can't remember which beach this was, but it was definitely in Florida. And there literally is no beach. The ocean literally went right up to the walkway and everybody had to sit on the grass. The people, beach is gone. I saw that. People are trying to tell people that that was just high tide. They're trying to say that no, that's just no, a high it tide thing. <laughs> it wasn't high tide because they, they said this is literally not even high tide. And the waves were crashing up against the steps that led to like the grass. Everybody was on the grass. One person was trying to lay on the beach and the waves were slapping him. And that, that was like low tide. There is no beach left. And so Florida is in a pretty precarious state. And so like. The people need help. Like people need to get out of there. And I, I, I mean, I'm serious. I wish that like there could be people in other states that say, listen, if you need help, get in the car and come here. Like maybe that'll help. Like people need to get out of there. But as people, far as, you know, know much people gas better, is, like we, course. like gas is expensive. And I say that as a person that, that buys diesel nowadays. <laughs> we got to figure something out, though. Like, we got to figure something out. Like, if I, I I don't even know. I'm just I'm just I'm just putting it out there. If I could help in some kind of way, I would. But the problem we're experiencing is donor fatigue. People who are poor, not to say like you're poor, but people who are poor don't have the resources. Like if there was a rich relative to contact, these motherfuckers would have contacted them already. Right. People who care are poor. That's what I'm saying. The people who actually have the money don't necessarily care because they're OK and it's not affecting them. That's and they if go it in were space. affecting them, they wouldn't help other people. Like They're, they're going to space. They're building submarines and drowning. They they got other ways to, to do this. Um, wasn't there? Wasn't there? Look. I don't. I don't mean to be mean about it, but I could have sworn at some point in history, Bugs Bunny actually used a saw to separate Florida from the mainland. Is Bugs. that like Bugs Bunny getting it right before <laughs> the Simpsons could? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. I had to. I had to laugh. Um, but well, what's I going I, to happen is that. I mean, I'm afraid that what's going to happen with climate change is that we're going to. Basically, the those that aren't already rich will just be penalized into poverty, and the only people who can be able to afford things like insurance or whatever, and you know, to be able to survive and sustain themselves, will be the ultra wealthy. It's some sort of strange dystopia. But yeah, why yeah, did you whisper like, that? Nobody could hear that last part. Some what strange utopia? Oh, I just didn't think of a strange dystopia. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't you can't trail off. You kind of gotta Sorry. stay loud so people could hear you. Um, <laughs> the the I did read something funny, Takata, and I thought you would like that. Uh, it says billionaires are going to space because they know guillotines don't work without gravity. Oh, <laughs> catch him well at then. the door. That's all I'm saying. Catch him at the door. Well then, and I don't Wait. condone violence or guillotines. Oh. We are not Republicans chasing Mike Pence. Oh, wait, they built him a new, a, a, was it a noose? No, it wasn't a kid. Either way, they built a stage. You know, that's. Wait, a, I think it was a new, I can't remember. I think it's it a noose. Some type of app, apparatus for killing people. I'm thinking a noose is more their style as opposed to a guillotine. But uh, yes. I, yeah. I remember that, that, that sixth day. <laughs> you know what, though? <laughs> I'm not gonna fantasize about guillotines. I was just gonna say because you know I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that at all. I'm not. I'm gonna keep thinking about other things. I'm still gonna make implode the rich merch, as well as what happens in space, freeze the rich. I'm not too sure. So you do freeze. You freeze and you have no oxygen. Ah uh, yes. I'm 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 sure some some goofy is gonna make is gonna make one wrong step. Some goofies are going to make some goofies are making steps to leave the planet to go to a month. Either way, the whole pro. Oh, look, we talked about how much it costs yesterday. It's almost a half million dollars to do it, and twenty. If you chicken out twenty five thousand of it, is not refundable. 
Oh. Oh. So you're telling me that that run into Costa Rica is not far enough. Huh? Exactly. But you guys, we did it. That's the whole show. We we went through everything. <laughs> Neat. All right. Well, look at us. Nice. We did it. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Travis, how'd you feel about your first day? Exciting. Very cool. Very cool. All right. You guys, we're going to sign off for the night. Peace, love, and hair grease. All right, y'all. All right, all right that, wraps, that wraps up another, up another episode, episode of our, of our mind-blowingly mind awesome, awesome podcast. podcast. But before, but before we bid adieu, let me remind, let me you, remind of you of two things. things. Our, podcast our podcast is like a magical, like a magical unicorn, unicorn that brings laughter, laughter and, joy and joy to your eardrums. And Jasmine, and Jasmine Sherman, Sherman for president, for president in 2024. In 2024. Because who wouldn't want a hilarious leader with impeccable sarcasm? Now, now let's talk let's about missing persons. Because apparently, it's a trendy thing in the U.S. We've got, We've California, got California leading, leading the way with an impressive number of 2,133 2, people missing. Florida, Florida and, Texas and Texas follow closely, follow closely behind because clearly, because clearly they love to they keep, love us, to keep on us on our toes. toes. Maybe, it's, Maybe the it's the sunshine that lures them away. Them away. Who, knows? Who knows? But hey, if, but you've, hey, lost if you've lost your neighbor, your cousin, your cousin or, even or even your goldfish, drop us, drop an, us an email at official account at, official account at fatsocialist.com. We're not sure how we'll help, but we'll definitely share the information on our podcast. We're all about being helpful, you know? Make sure to follow us on all our socials because we're the cool kids in town, spreading laughs and political ambitions. And remember, folks, Stay safe, Stay safe out, there. out there. You never you know, never when, know a when a missing person, person might be lurking, lurking around the corner, corner waiting to photo bomb your family, your family picture. picture. So until, so until next, next time, time, stay weird, stay curious, stay curious and let's and find let's those find those missing folks, folks together. together. Both Sherman, Both Sherman in, 2024. in 2024. Peace, love, peace, and hair, love, and hair grease. grease.